Welcome to Here's My AL Wishlist. What's on yours? Hey, I'm Eric. And today I'm, I'm going to send a letter to, uh, to Microsoft in the form of a, a video. And, and you can come along. Uh, this is my wish list for, for, for things in AL that I'm missing. And, and to be clear, this is a wish list of reasonable <laughs> requests. It's not, uh, it's not like, hey, we need, a, we need something impossible. No, um, this is possible stuff. This is perhaps something I might have forgot. This is um, it's the little thing. But it, sometimes it's the little things in life that just makes it so much, much more enjoyable. Um, so here. Let's uh, let's hit it, um, and I'm gonna start with a uh, with a big one. So, you know that when we have we have we have the JSON variables, and and if you ever seen a video of mine, I probably used them because I truly like those a lot. Uh, you can build amazing things with the uh, with the JSON objects because it's it's very flexible, um, but. It requires a lot of sugar, and 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 when I say sugar, uh, no, it does not require sugar. It requires a lot of extra effort. Uh, so, here is a typical thing that you will do for each JSON token in JSON array. Do begin, and then we do JSON object equal token as. Uh, for each in right and then we do generic token as what did i do token array right token there, there you go as object and i have this construct a million places uh i just want to do this i know because it might be a JSON array I've just created, or, or it might be schema controlled or whatever. I know this is a an array, a JSON array of objects. It, they are not values, they are not whatever. Uh, so just, and give me the, for each object in array, or for each, if, if that's an array in array, uh, you know. Like, anyway, so, so, do the type conversion so I don't have to go back and say okay I get the token whoops oh and then I do the object equal token as as object and I know there are people out there who say but hang on Eric you can just use tokens for everything and then you do token as and then you have an object but that that is that doesn't look nice I, I like my code to look nice um, there are a few other places where, so this is not only for each, so if I do json array dot get number four, and I know it's an object, it's like, give me the object so that I don't have to you know, first pass the token and then convert afterwards. Um, that would be very nice. That would be just, the code looks cleaner. Uh, um, you have a better day, sun is shining, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's the first one. Um, so let's uh, let's uh, switch gear here for a second. Um, actually, let let's stay for a second with this term. So we have very often when you're working with JSON objects, it's also uh, because of web services. So let's say we have a, uh, a some HTTP content, and uh, we have the weird construct of read as meaning uh, read the content into the something. So this is getting stuff out of the content and we have the, the write from. This is getting content into the content. Um, and we have overloads, we have text, we have secret text and we have streams. I would just, be, oops, wow, crazy scrolling. I just like to do this. I'd just like to pass a, a, a adjacent object or adjacent array because I know what it is. And if it's not that, runtime error uh, wait, isn't a, a completely acceptable uh, thing. Um, 
the, I think this was also actually from a uh, a backend perspective makes a lot of stuff more efficient because Microsoft have the ability to uh, to pass on on in place uh, so span based parsing of JSON I guess uh, for right now we have to copy into a string and then we have to pass the string and yeah so if, if we in case with big big payloads there's more memory consumed so that would be nice um okay now, now we're gonna switch so we have um we have text variables and well, let's do text equal room here's the string so now we have the the text dot functions they're great but why don't we have text of length um we also have the 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 string function and there's uh there's some of these that that might as well be dot functions also um but you know, the the clear one is why don't we have text of length i i want to do that all the time and it's it, it, the code looks very nice and then you suddenly in the middle have to reverse to the other syntax so you have to mix the two syntaxes because you don't have string the length um, so that would be very nice um, another one that is kind of it, so and you can do this in other languages so so let's see text a substring and then I do minus three in other languages that would mean that that will give me the last three uh, characters of a string so this would be six seven eight if I run this, get a runtime error. I hit a five on that. <laughs> Start index a minus four. So I guess there's also some math uh, there that is off by one. Um, but that would be nice if we could uh, we could extend some of these functions uh, and use negative numbers as meaning from from the end of the string um, and and now when we have all this on uh, on one of our text variables what about the other right what about a code that would be nice but we don't have anything on code um, and I know some of these might not make the 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 you know the text dot two text dot so if you do a code dot two upper it's already upper so i guess it has no sense uh two lower would then output a string um so that would make sense um maybe just for you know consistency uh two upper on a on a code would just return the same thing um but but let let's uh, I, I I like this uh, and I know code is kind of weird uh, in a lot of cases where uh, why do we have this arcane type but but we have it and it's all over the system and we use it we like it um, so so I would love to have the dot functions on code too um, I think that's a reasonable thing to ask for. Uh, maybe, maybe none of this is reasonable. But if you don't ask, is the worst thing that happens is that Mike says, "No, no, Eric, this is not AI. We are not interested in adding function on the code variable." But at least I asked, so maybe. Um, then let's jump to to the next section so i think i have like like three groups here right uh um because if your list is too long then you're not serious either so here, here's the last segment and this is my record ref. if you ever seen a video here you know that apart from me using a lot of json objects i also uh, I have a fondness for record refs um and um record refs are 
almost complete. <laughs> so we can do a lot of things on regular ref that mainly is the exact same thing as this. If we do a, oh, we already have rig here. So if I do rig, you know, I, let's get rid of all the functions and all the fields. Eventually, somewhere here, we get all these guys, right? Blah, 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 da, 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 da. Um, and this is great. But this list is larger than this list. So there, there are some, some things that we can can do on a record that we cannot do on a record ref. Uh, like I can, I can on a on a rec, I can do modify all, right? On on, on a ref, I can do modify, not modify all. On on a rec, I can do uh, do field transfer. Dot. I can do transfer field. Sorry. Borrow. I can do transfer fields, right? On ref, I cannot do transfer field. Uh, so that's like like these small annoying uh, things that have been left left out of uh, out of refs. That would be nice to uh, to get there. Um, and while we're talking about transfer fields, I would. This is not really. This is was so, a bonus. This is like the end of the list uh, after after uh, dear Santa Claus uh, and and regards Eric and all that good. Then a postscript um, transfer fields. Oh, let's get here. So transfer fields. Copying all matching fields in one record to another. That is uh, that is vague, um, and if we go and say business central, wow, central transfer fields, um, copy all matching fields in one record to another. Do 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 remarks. The transfer field method copies field based on the field number on the field. For each field in the record, the destination, the content of the field that has the same field number in the source will be copied if such fields exist. The fields must have the same data type for the copying to succeed. Text and code are convertible. Enum fields are considered being the same uh, uh, data type on different enum. There must be a room for the actual length. Um, if any of these conditions aren't fulfilled, a runtime error will occur. The, the, the wish list, are, the bonus question here is that instead of throwing a runtime error, uh, so if the type doesn't match, uh, just ignore the field. Succeed with whatever can be copied, but if the, the type doesn't match, um then ignore this uh in 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 this function is super old this function is from it, this function is is basically 35 years old uh this is like the this is og um AL. Um, and and that was at a time where there were only only one thing uh, what I see uh, m more and more but but I, I well I, I don't I don't want to quantify it uh, because my worldview might be screwed by by certain things but what I see is that you have PTEs adding fields uh, around and different PGs and stuff is happening. And suddenly there is deep inside the belly of the beast, there is a field transfer from A to B and one PG has added a, a, a field number in one table, 50,100. And another PG has added a different field in a slightly unrelated table, also 50,100 different fields, different value, different type. Uh, and suddenly we get posting can no longer occur because 
does a runtime error on uh, on the field transfer. Um, you could argue that field transfer should not exist, but but right now Microsoft you still uses field transfers a lot, uh, especially in the sales and purchase posting. So it's there, it it's being used. So the wish list is instead of throwing a runtime error, if uh, if the type condition is not fulfilled, then just ignore the field. That is uh, that is my wish. So recap, I would love for the JSON functionality to be less. I would love to be able to build more things without having to use the JSON token variable uh, type. Uh, code looks cleaner, uh, more readable, um, and I'm, I'm the downside is potentially run some errors with, with type failures, and I'm good with that. Um, then I will allow the, the dot functions on text to be uh, complete and also work on code. Uh, I would love the HTTP content functions to work directly uh, with, uh, with, with JSON uh, data types. And I would love the, the record refs implementation to be more on par with records. So what is your list? Do you, uh, I, my list could be way longer, but, but in order to keep this, uh, you know, I cannot ask for more than 15 minutes attention span from, from Microsoft, uh, that I'm probably already over my allotted time for stuff like this. So comments below. Do you agree with my with my uh, my list? Do you have things that hey Eric, this is way more important than than your little JSON token uh, annoying 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 annoying? I don't even know the word annoyance. Maybe uh, anyway, when we're done with this, check this video out. Ale hacking happens here a lot. Go check it out. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.